I'm about to start these flowers. Now, if you've watched my old Hollywood video, if you've watched just the recent purple pale flower video, it's the exact same process. So I'm not gonna do a small project alert for it. If you wanna see it, I'll link the videos in the comments or I'll put one of them up there just so you can see what it's gonna look like. So I already jumped ahead and glued all of the pieces down with the wire inside. And then these ones are just two pieces of velvet smashed into an interfacing. And I'm just gonna cut the petals out of that. But I will show you what I'm doing on the way. But it won't be a step-by-step -step guide of how to make the petals because you see they're already done. It's a pocket in the inside. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out all of these wired ones. Then I'm gonna come back and draw the petal shapes in these interfacing ones and then we'll cut those out too. Look at the dress in the background. <laughs> oh my God, it looks really like a piano. I'm loving this. So, you know I had a dilemma with this dress with this dang piano and making sure that the keys look as stark of white as they do now. And obviously I achieved what I was trying to achieve. So make sure you go over to the dilemma video and figure out how I did it. So the first thing I did once I got them all nice and cut out was frame them in this ruby color and then in regular cyan, which is that darker red that's around the top. I think it came out really nice. So now what I need to do is do the same for the interfacing pieces because all of these are the pieces that have the wires inside so I can kind of shape them to what I need. Look, 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 look. Oh, it's so cute. And that is just a sample. I just have it lightly pinned up there just because the one on the other side of the bust is the largest piece. And I think I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Maybe add some vines going through. But I want to show you how I stone them. So, you know I grabbed all of those beautiful ruby red specialties and this is what I did. So, as you can see, once I completely decked out those velvet petals, I did my placement again of the flower that's going to go on the bust and I found this gorgeous AB center stone that I'm going to use to be the centerpiece of my stone but I'm not quite sure so I have that Labrador Revali as well checkerboard Revali or make a rose looking centerpiece which one do you think I should do one two or three and that is where I'm putting my vine I found some really cool moss green looking colors so we're gonna make some leaves as well so let's do that um fast forward to the lease already being done <laughs> yeah so basically what i did was just create the shape of the metal piece that i wanted for the leaf shove it in between two pieces of fabric glue it down um here is an example of exactly the way that i did it i marked out how i wanted the shape of the metal to be put it in place to make sure it's set put the glue on the metal piece and then added another piece of fabric right on top pressed it down with my finger and let it dry and then once it's dry you just cut it out as you can see i really just use scrap pieces of the fabric nothing is cut to exact measurements because long as it fit in between it'll work so on this middle one i just let it get a little tacky and as you can see this is an oblong piece of fabric that i just put on top of it because again long as it fits it'll work and press 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 flip it over press 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 
until you feel like all of the glue has equally been distributed on the outside of that metal ring and on the inside of the metal ring. The only thing you really want to do is make sure that you completely saturate the metal ring with the glue. So here I am doing it just to show you exactly how it needs to be done. I know that it looks super messy, but it's going to go in between two pieces of fabric, so it's perfectly fine. And once everything gets nice and smashed down, when I go for the cutting portion, I'm going to cut it into a specific shape. Not necessarily right next to that metal ring, so it has the shape that I want. Easy peasy. Oh, the dress is coming together. Look at that, that is so gorgeous. So I kind of intertwined the center of the rose. As you can see, I got everything glued down, sewn down as far as those leaves and the vine right there. Um, I think it looks good. Now those ones down there are still pinned in place. I still need to sew those on. As you can see the thread, I'm working toward sewing them down. I'm making everything just look nice and neat. Hiding all of the knots. I think it looks good. Let me show you real quick the rest of the petals for the flowers. Because the dress is actually getting quite a few flowers quite a few petals and I stoned them all well all of the leaves pretty much the same but I love the way that it's coming out I even stoned the stem oh it looks gorgeous and I forgo the centerpiece like I said I just intertwined the metal roses in the center so that it looks nice and I think it looks pretty good it looks gorgeous you see some of the flowers still have the pins in it but for the most part the dress is done thank you so much for watching this episode of small project alert i really hope that you learn something every time you watch one of my small project alert videos well anytime you watch any of my videos for that matter but i do do these small project alerts just to show you how to bring an extra bit of bling to your applique and make your dress pop out more than it already does now i will jump back to the main video because i gotta add these bugle beads all over just very sparsely but i gotta do it see you in the next one